One good thing that I can say about the 2016 presidential election is that I'm glad that it's over. I'm also glad that I have a camper van so that I can just jump in and take off and get away from everything for a little while. So I went to Valley of Fire. And there it is, right there, Valley of Fire State Park. See the sign? See the sign? And I see uh, some kind of building up ahead. I think they charge you to get in here and they charge you to camp. I think, well, let me just wait until I find out what the prices are before I say anything. So he said I could pay here, or I could look for a camping spot first and pay there. So I'm going to go and see if there's a camping spot. He said it's two miles down the road. Alright, we're going to look at this campground and see it's a bit more primitive, but we're going to see if they have a space for us. I see one right there at the very, I see a few. Alright, this is going to be good. This is looking good. Right here, number nine. That's the way I like it. No service. Well, there's my little camp spot. I'm perfectly level there, believe it or not. It's got a little barbecue place here. It has a fire pit. A whatever the heck that is. Maybe it's a place to pitch a tent, I don't know. And it has a covered picnic table. All in this beautiful setting out here. All right, I'm in camp mode. Since I'm not stealth camping, I'm facing the black side of my sunshade on the inside and the silver part facing out. I've got my zero lounger out and also a little chair. Well, it is a beautiful day out here and it's nice that they built these stairways up so you can look at these petroglyphs up here at the top of the stairway. I do find this kind of stuff interesting. It's fascinating to think that somebody a long time ago decided to tell a story through pictures and this kind of graffiti. Kind of funny to say, but I find that these weird patterns in the rock formations are just as interesting as the petroglyphs. Luckily, they do give you a hint on what some of these might mean, although nobody really knows for sure. See it up there? Natural arch. This area is called the beehives. And here you can see why they call it the beehives. They have a lot of these. They have a lot of these formations around here. Just here in Rainbow Vista, taking a look around. Very nice. Here's what they call White Domes area. 
because instead of having red rock, they're white. Well, there's a nice comparison between a uh, Class B, the Explorer, and a B plus, the Pleasure Way, which is much larger and wider. Very nice RVs though. The Plateau XL. I'm just kind of exploring my habitat here. I'm really liking it. It's, um, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that I don't always go out camping or I'm not always out in nature. A lot of times I'm Walmart camping, I'm on trips that are destination oriented. But on this trip, I just want it to be destination oriented, kind of in the wilderness outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm really pleasantly surprised. There are some great places to hike, bike around here, and some sights to see. And I plan on taking a look at quite a few of those. But it was $20 to camp here for the night, $10 for the entrance fee, and $10 to park in that little camp area I have over there. Like I said, it has a fire pit, fireplace, place to park, a little tent area, a covered picnic table. It's very nice. And close by, there's vault toilets. I just slipped the money inside an envelope and put it in a deposit vault. I've got my grill all set up. I'm going to fire it up here. There it is. It's all lit. Let that heat up. While that's doing that, I'm going to cut up a potato. There they are, just in some tin foil. I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoning on those. So I put a little bit of this steak seasoning on there, a little bit of seasoned salt, and I put a little bit of water in there before I fold it up and throw it on the grill. It's about 350 degrees, so that's hot enough. A couple of ribeyes here, they're thin cut, be good. I just put on the seasoned salt. I put I like this Canadian steak stuff. There's like garlic, onion, a bunch of other stuff in there. You hear those sizzling? Let me close it. Now they're thin, so I have to be careful on the time. I don't got a nice mixed green salad with some Italian. And there's those two thin steaks plated up. I'm going to get these potatoes off of there and let them cool down and peel it open. Uh, let me check. Oh, nice and soft. It's about perfect. Alright, well there's dinner for tonight. Salad, steak, and some potatoes. I better get to work on this. Wow, look at my neighborhood now. We got people moving in. Nice truck camper coming in. My neighbor over there has a Pleasure Way Plateau. Probably one of the finest Class B's or B pluses you can get. Let's see if we can zoom in. Very nice. And it doesn't look like it because this camera is very good in low light. But the sun has gone down over the horizon over there. And it's actually much darker than it looks on camera. Pretty soon it's going to be time to hit the sack. Another few hours or so.